Here's a video showing how I turn a brush handle. I'm using a short piece of redwood. The first thing I'm going to do is mark the center on either end of the piece of wood. Now that I have the center line marked, I'm going to put a small small punch mark on either end of the wood. Now I'm going to drill the hole that the brush knot will go in. I have a piece of tape on the bit to work as a depth gauge so I know how, how far I need to drill, how deep. Now that I have the hole for the knot drilled, I'm going to take it to the lathe. When I made this video, I didn't really have a brush design in mind. I just started turning, so... You can see I'm just kind of noodling around, kind of trying to figure out what shape to make it in the beginning since I didn't have a plan in mind. So the first thing I'm doing is knocking off the corners. And I'm using a half inch spindle gouge. And now that I've turned it a little bit, I kind of have a better idea of the shape I want to make it. Now I've switched to a little half inch skew and I'm making a little decoration down near the end of the handle. I made three little grooves and inside of the grooves I'm going to burn it by friction with a piece of wire. So I'm holding a piece of wire in the groove and I'm just holding it there till it burns the wood a little bit and makes a decorative ring. Uh, refine the shape just a little more. Now that I have the shape where I want it, I'm going to start sanding.
And now I turned the lathe off and I'm sanding with the grain of the wood to get rid of the, make sure all the mark, sanding marks are going with the grain. And now that it's getting close to done, I'm getting ready to make the little nub on the end a lot smaller. I'll turn it down to where there's just a little nub to cut off with a chisel. So now there's just that little nub left with a center mark in it and I chiseled that off and sanded it flush. Now I'm going to make a little jam chuck to hold the brush handle as I finish it on the lathe. I'm just using a scrap piece of pine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn a little tenon on this piece of pine that's the same size as the hole of the brush nut and I'll just jam the brush handle on there that's why you call it the jam chuck so the first thing is I'm just knocking off some of the corners And now I'm turning the tenon that the brush will fit on. Once I get it close, I get out the calipers and cut it down to the exact size. And there's the handle on the jam chuck, and I'm going to finish it now. And it's not running exactly true, but it doesn't matter for the slow speed stuff that we're doing now. And I'm putting on super glue with my finger. And I put on about four coats of glue. Between each coat I sanded, sanded with 400 grit. And then I put another coat on. In the last coat I sanded with 400, then used 4.0 steel wool to get a set finish. And here's what the completed brush looks like. Thanks for watching.